Hello, I'm Helen Bradley and welcome to this video tutorial. In this tutorial, we'll look at how you can find images by properties that are actually embedded in the image here in Lightroom. So for example, you may want to find an image based on its date, or you could do things like find an image based on the kind of lens you were using, or even if the flash fired or not. You'll start in the library in Lightroom and you'll choose view and then show filter bar. Now the filter bar gives you access to the tools that we would use to find an image based on data that's stored in the image itself, for example, the metadata. So over here right now, I have the actual camera that I use, but you can see that there are only 2,141 photos being searched here. And that is because I'm looking at a subset of the images in a separate folder. So I'm going to go now and click on all photographs. So we're actually looking at all 89,000 images in this catalog. So I'll go back to the metadata and now we'll start looking at the 89,000 images. So you'll see that I've been shooting with a range of cameras over the years. But right now we're looking at the camera and what I want to do is look at the date. So if I hover over here, you can see that there's a drop down and I'll select date. And so we'll swing across to all the dates that the photos were shot in. So you can see that there are a number of years that I captured photos all the way up here to 2017. So let's go and see what I shot in September 2016. So let's go to 2016, here's September, and there were 533 photos shot during that period of time. Now when we select this 533 images, then we can see not only the images that I shot, but also the camera I used, the focal length and the flash state. So in that period of time, in those 533 images, there were two images where the flash fired. So we can just click on those to see them. Now, if you wanted to see all the images in your collection where you fired the flash, then you would again go back to all of your photographs and this time you would select the flash status. And here it is, flash state. So you would make that a priority. And for flash state, you're going to have did fire, did not fire, or some that are unknown. So if you want to see the images where you actually fired a flash, then you would select did fire. So you can look at your images by a number of different criteria. The date that the image was shot on, that's stored inside the metadata inside photos. The file type, whether you've got a pick or a reject flag, the rating, the five star rating, the label that's associated with it, you can also search by keywords. Of course, you can look at the camera that you shot with. So you want to see everything that you shot with a particular camera or its serial number or a lens. So that would be independent of cameras because you might use the same lens on a number of different cameras. Focal length, shutter speed, there are all sorts of things that you can specify a search for. And so this is a really handy way of locating images in your catalog based by whatever criteria it is that you want to view by. So let's go back to the 2016 September images. I'm just going to target all these. And then if I close down this panel by choosing view and then show filter bar to effectively hide it. Now we're looking at all the photographs that I took in September 2016. You can tell that because here we have 533 of 89,000 images are visible. So these could be in any folder anywhere. If we want to get back to viewing the entire collection, so in other words, turn this filter off, we would go down here to custom filter and choose filters off. That's always an important thing to do because quite often there's a chance that you will have a subset of images visible when you in fact want to see all of your images. So I hope that this has helped you find images inside your Lightroom catalog based on whatever criteria it is that you are most interested in. If you did enjoy the video, please give it a thumbs up, click the subscribe button and hit that notification bell and you'll be alerted when new videos are released. And until next time, my name's Helen Bradley and thank you very much for joining me here on my YouTube channel.